Hey friends, I'm here to do you a favor. I am going to make you the worst video that's ever been uploaded on YouTube. So I'm going to do it so you will never have to. The reason why this is the worst video on the internet is because if you've ever considered posting a video or putting something up on the internet or even, let's extrapolate that even more, if you've ever wanted to do something yet you feel as though you're just going to immediately get rejected and you're already catastrophizing the worst case scenario of that as an effect of your actions that you're about to consider, huh, I beat you to it because it's not going to get any worse than this. Well, visually, in a sense. So, what have I created here? I'm creating a video to put up on the internet for everybody to potentially see who has access to the internet and YouTube. And you may have felt this because you probably felt this in the form of an excuse by saying, if I put this out there, I'm just going to get laughed at, rejected, disliked, it's going to destroy my channel, it's going to destroy my reputation, and it's going to bruise my ego. Hence, you are where you are right now. The, the momentum of that thing you wanted to do, in this case, post a video, never happened. And it's still not going to happen. But you're always fighting against that friction. So the favor I've already done for you is that I claim to have created the worst video and I challenge you to make one even worse than this one. So you can't have that title. So I literally destroyed that excuse of yours. So the beautiful encouragement on there is I want you to get out there and put your content out to the world regardless of what the after effect is. Or more specifically, regardless of what you think that the after effect is. Now, what do I think is going to happen with this? I can say, I think and what I fear. Well, I fear that no one's going to watch this video. I'm going to think and feel that it's going to hurt me. It's going to put some negative emotions within me, such as rejection, bruised ego. I'm going to, it's going to put me down. It's going to reinforce all my doubts and negative thoughts, such as, see, no one's ever going to watch me anyway. I say, oh crap, here's some evidence that I have. Up on the world for everybody to see. And I'm, I'm terrible in front of the camera. And... I'm just not worth people's time and attention. And no one's ever gonna to get to this. That's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm feeling. But yet, somehow I've managed to press that post. The reality is, what's going to happen after I press this post is essentially out of my control. That's the reality. I have no control over whether people decide to watch it. I have no control of whether people can bad mouth it, bad comment it, destroy it. It's, it's actually a very tender and vulnerable state that I put myself in. Because you can literally do anything. And I can't do anything back to you. And is that scary? Yes and no. Yes, because all those fears are legit. And I'm human just like you. So I feel it. I totally get it. Yet, I have this stubbornness. I have this ambition, I have this belief in me that everything's going to be okay after the fact that this thing gets posted. 
There's a part of me that believes that the world is not going to end. The world is going to carry on. People are going to move forward. You are going to move forward from this. And that's the important thing. Don't worry about me. You are going to move forward from this. Henry's just Henry. He's just another guy on this planet. So I'm just gonna stand here for a couple of seconds and continue on making this crap video. Really, really bad video. So what have you gathered from this? If, you're, if you've made it up to this far, one, I want to reinforce the fact that the worst video is this one, not the one that you're about to make. No, not the one that you're going to post after this. Because you probably at least planned. And planning is better than not planning, which is what I've done. I hope this sparks some kind of encouragement because the position of being second last is better than being last. So yay for you, time for you to get going. And thirdly, actually is to get going. Get started. My first, my first advice on anything is to create momentum. You want to, it's a lot easier to keep moving once something starts moving. It's just a law of physics. Things in motion, we just continue on being in motion. And I don't know why I just threw that in there. Who said that? Isaac Newton? Yeah. Better stop talking about that before I get all these scientists start to bag me out me. So get going. Whatever it was, that you wanted to do, I encourage you to start. I encourage you to, to move momentum. Now, if you want some real world references, now I'm putting evidence into this. I'm polishing this, this piece of crap with some actual stuff. There is this Japanese term known as Kaizen, K-A-I-Z-E-N. And there's been a lot of authors that have written about, I'm currently reading a book written by Anthony Raymond, and there's one by Dr. Robert Mueller about that term. They're just two of the books that I've read or reading, talking about the term of Kaizen. And the idea of Kaizen is about essentially starting momentum on your project or anything that it is that you set out to do. It could be, you know, weight loss. It's about doing the most smallest action to generate momentum. And they challenge you to find the smallest action. It could be anything such as, if you wanted to start flossing your teeth, they encourage you the first action is to pick up a piece of floss. It goes down to that first bit. Because once when you pick up that piece of floss, it's a lot easier to go from having the floss in your hand to putting it onto one tooth. And you just floss that one tooth. And then once when you go from one tooth, you go onto the second tooth. Because you've generated momentum. That's what happens in this world. So now I'm up to post 10 minutes of this video. No, it's reading 9 minutes 20. So I'll go to 10 minutes, I promise I'll stop at 10. You want to generate momentum. Don't worry about the future. Don't think too far ahead because everything that's ahead is just your excuse. You want to get started. You want to implement Kaizen. And that could be as simple as facing a camera towards you and pressing record and then post. They're the three essential things that you gotta do with regards to video making. So if you've ever dreamed of creating something like that, use that similar sort of framework to pursue whatever it is that you wanted to do.
See you next time, friends.